dear friends to the channel Frugal Money Saver. My name is Emmy, my husband is Paul. We are an early retirement, debt and mortgage free couple living in the state of New York. And our channel just shows you how to have a full abundant life while spending less money. We have some really exciting news. A brand new Trader Joe's open just 10 minutes from our front door. I know, we were like, yay! We love Trader Joe's. But Trader Joe's is the type of store you can go in and spend a tremendous amount of money if you are not careful. Paul and I went out on a little journey, 10 minutes from our door, to go inside the new Trader Joe's, show you some bargain items we found, comparing them to ShopRite, which is basically the supermarket in our area that has the lowest prices. We compared prices and we'll show you how we did that. And then we're gonna show you our little Trader Joe's haul. We're also going to take two of those items we buy from Trader Joe's and make a delicious light summertime meal from them. We just have what we hope is a very helpful video for you. Let's get right into it. Trader Joe's has got to be one of the most popular supermarket stores in our nation. You hear people talk about Trader Joe's all the time. There's actually cult following of some of their products. What is the lure into that store? A supermarket that basically never has sales, doesn't allow coupons. There's no reward card for that store. You can't go online and shop. There's no self-checkout. So there's some things that make you stop and think, what are they doing to pull people in when they're lacking all those other aspects of a normal major grocery store? Soon as you walk into Trader Joe's, you'll get it you get that old timey feeling of being in a mom and pop store from way back when. The workers are attentive, they are friendly, they will walk you to wherever you need to go in that store if you can't find a product. And it is really aesthetically a very, very lovely store. And I'm gonna show you something else. One of the ways they capture you is by their remarkable packaging. Take a look at this. The packages on Trader Joe's products are aesthetically pleasing. The colors, the graphics, they appeal to young and old. So that is one way that Trader Joe's gets you to try their products. They look fun. They look like something you want to buy and take home with you. As you can see, one of their biggest marketing tools are those packages. They're warm and fuzzy and they're old fashioned and they're beautiful. Honestly, they make you want to take their products home. So smart on Trader Joe's part when it comes to marketing. And you notice they don't have a huge online presence either. They just kind of go word of mouth. It's Trader Joe's opened, we all have to go. They also are very clever because they operate on FOMO, fear of missing out. What do I mean by that? Well, Trader Joe's products come and go in a blink of an eye. They could be there one week and then you will never see those products again. So people, when they find a favorite product from Trader Joe's, will stock up on that product because they're always afraid that it will be discontinued. For me, one of the saddest moments at Trader Joe's was when they stopped carrying their no salt peanut butter filled pretzels. They just stopped carrying them. I'm like, where are they? Oh no, we discontinued them. I'm like, no. They really operate on that principle as well. So people tend to buy a little extra thinking, what if it's not here the next time I go? Let's go inside the store together. We're going to show you some really amazing frugal buys we found. Because honestly, Trader Joe's is not always known for its great prices on everything. But we found some really great frugal finds. And we will show you the comparison 
at ShopRite for a very similar item. So let's get inside the store and take a look around. Trader Joe's is known for their beautiful, fresh flowers. And they do have a varied assortment of flowers at reasonable prices. They're really beautiful. And I think people don't think of Trader Joe's as a floral shop per se, but for a beautiful gift for someone reasonably priced, this is your go-to shop for flowers. In produce, we found a box of nectarines, four pounds for $8. That was compatible with ShopRite. Carrots Organic, one pound bag was 99 cents. At ShopRite, that same pound bag of organic carrots was $1.49. Ready to eat beets, $2.29 for eight ounces, or you can make my crock pot beets $1.79 a pound. A gallon of milk was a few cents less than the regular supermarkets in our area, $3.99 a gallon, and we've been paying upwards of about $4.30. Heavy cream was $3.49 a pint. That was about 25 cents more than ShopRite. But the unique item we found was shelf-stable whipping cream. Eight ounces was $1.39. A pound of raw walnuts were $5.99 a pound. That is a great price. Organic unsweetened coconut, $1.99 for eight ounces. ShopRite wanted $3.99 for two more ounces, for 10 ounces. So that Trader Joe's price was really good. $1.99 for Joe's O's, which was a really good price for 15 ounces. Trader Joe's has pasta made in Italy from Hard Durham Semolina, 99 cents for a full pound. That is an amazing price. I checked on my Colavita at ShopRite and it is holding steady at $1.99, so I am anxious to try their brand. No salt added tuna. Trader Joe's sells them for $1.99 for a four ounce can. ShopRite has the Bumblebee low sodium tuna. It is $2.79 for a five ounce can. I am so excited to try this mustard. $1.99 for 12 ounces of whole grain mustard. The male old style Dijon mustard was pretty much the closest thing I could find to that Dijon mustard at TJ's. They wanted $4.49 for 7.3 ounces. What a great deal TJ's mustard is. Aluminum-free baking powder was $3.34 a pound. Bob's Red Mill, no aluminum added baking powder from ShopRite, was $4.32 a pound. This is a really good deal. $2.49 for 9 ounces of pure cocoa powder. At ShopRite, the Nestle cocoa powder for 8 ounces is $4.29. So the Trader Joe's cocoa powder is really a bargain. Trader Joe's is also known for its pound plus bars of delicious chocolate imported from Belgium. They've got milk chocolate, milk chocolate with almonds, 72% cacao dark chocolate. Just a great bargain at $4.99 a bar. Lint dark chocolate, 70% cacao, 3.5 ounce bar is $3.50 at ShopRite. So that's coming out to just about $16 a pound. As you saw, there are some great bargains to be found in Trader Joe's if you know what you're looking for. But the appeal to the masses 
when it comes to Trader Joe's as more of the variety of the foods they carry. Unique prepared items, tons of cheeses, the new products that they showcase every month. Let me show you what I mean. Their frozen prepared food section is impressive. You are paying for the convenience of a prepared item, but they really do have some unique, delicious go-to items. One of their cult favorites is this mandarin orange chicken for $4.99 a bag. You get 22 ounces. Let us know if you've tried it. Another item that is super popular are JoJo's, their cookies, similar, I guess, to Oreos, chocolate biscotti, almond butter cups. You have your chocolate covered power berries. Dark chocolate honey grams with sea salt, dark chocolate sunflower seed butter cups, honey mints, sea salt butterscotch caramels, dark chocolate orange sticks. Their cheese selection is extensive. They have very good competitive price on their gourmet cheeses. Any that we have ever tried have been outstanding. New arrivals are something that Trader Joe really pushes. All kinds of new products that they introduce are always on one end cap. And they're kind of quirky, unique items. They're basically there to lure you in and have you try them. If you live near a Trader Joe's, remember at Christmas time, you can make a pretty unique basket with some of those products. Really, really fun food. So now what I want to do is get to our Trader Joe's haul, show you exactly what we bought. Here is our small Trader Joe's grocery haul. Now I can see how people can spend a lot of money in that store. You have to be very intentional while you're there. We did pick up two of this shelf stable whipping cream. The only two items in this is cream and carrageen. I am very excited to try this, see how this works. Out of everything we bought, I have to say this is probably one of the most exciting products. We're gonna have some grilled ham and cheese sandwiches it's on our menu. I am gonna be putting this all over that sandwich. This is imported from France. I am ecstatic to try this. I love a good mustard. Bet you didn't know that. We did pick up one pound of the pasta from Italy for 99 cents. I didn't want to buy a bunch because let's make sure we like it. We did get the organic flaked coconut. That was $1.99 and it's unsweetened. I add this when I make granola. So good. That price. My goodness. The baking powder was $1.69 that has no aluminum in it, which I really appreciate. The cocoa, nine ounces, was $2.49. Can I just tell you, this packaging, I love this. And I actually needed cocoa powder, so this worked out really well. Now, the low salt tuna. This is just something I prefer. The average can of tuna has about 300 milligrams of sodium. Trader Joe's has 70. If I'm buying regular bumblebee or something like that, I'll rinse it. I did need a head of garlic, so we picked that up, 49 cents. And then we did get the pound plus of this dark cacao chocolate. Paul loves this. This is a rare treat, $4.99 for... One pound, 1 1.6 ounces. He will have one square of this after dinner, and that kind of keeps you going. Yeah, no, it's delicious chocolate. It's not like a, you know, a candy bar you get at the gas station. This is really a nice treat. This is everything we bought. It was intentional. It's all stuff we will use. I am so happy that Trader Joe's is now literally 10 minutes from our home. Not a lot but everything we bought was an amazing price 
look delicious, and we're gonna show you how to make a meal out of two of those items. Now, I wanna clear up a misconception, and I'm sure some people will say that's not true, oh no. I researched Aldi and Trader Joe's. Yes, at one time, they were owned by the same company, but now they're totally separate and unique, though they do have some similarities. They tote their name brand. That is their marketing, Aldi brand, Trader Joe brand, but they are no longer affiliated at all. The question of the day is, do you shop at Trader Joe's? Do you have one near you? From what I understand, the area they put a new Trader Joe's store, it's got to meet certain demographics before Trader Joe's will put in a new store. So I am super happy we met those demographics because now it's 10 minutes away. I'm not sure what the demographics are, but it's great to know we have one now. So do you shop at Trader Joe's? What are your go-to items there? What are the specialty items at Trader Joe's that you really enjoy? Please share with us down below for the question of the day. Now let's get into the kitchen and make some creamy tuna pasta and veggie salad. We are making a clean out the refrigerator tuna pasta salad. Perfect warm weather meal. Now I am using what we have and I encourage you to use what you have as far as add-ins and vegetables. So what I did was I boiled and cooled a half a pound of that Trader Joe Fusilli pasta. Now you can use whatever kind you want. I like to use this kind of pasta in pasta salad because those ridges really hold on to the yummy dressing we're gonna make. Okay, so we've got two carrots that we chopped finely, two stalks of celery, we've got a couple of black olives that we just chopped, I have some whole cherry tomatoes from our garden. Are they not beautiful? So they're gonna go in. And here I have, I guess, just like a heaping tablespoon of sweet pickle relish. Now, if you don't like sweet pickle relish, by all means, you can use the dill pickle relish. I have a half a cup of mayonnaise, and I have a half a cup of sour cream. You can use all mayonnaise if you prefer. I like to add a little sour cream to balance it out. We're going to be using one of those cans of low-salt tuna from Trader Joe's, but use whatever kind you have. Then we're gonna add a little bit of this mustard. How excited am I? A little pepper, a little onion powder, and then just a little bit of salt. I encourage you to use the vegetables you have, use them up, so delicious. Okay, let's assemble. So I'm going to add the mayonnaise to the pasta. Make sure we get everything out of there, right? I'm gonna add the sour cream. I'm gonna put the relish in, a little dab of that mustard, a little onion powder, some black ground pepper, just a little bit of pink Himalayan sea salt. So we're going to mix this together first. I know this looks thick, give it a minute. And now I'm adding all these delicious vegetables and I'm going to take the tuna with my hand. My hands are clean of course and I am just going to break it up into the salad. And this is just one four ounce can. And now we're just going to gently mix this all together. What a great summertime meal. And you could use so many different vegetables in this, but the tuna just adds a little bit of protein, a little bit of flavor, one can, you could use more vegetables, make it your own, be creative, use up what you have. Now I am going to cover this and I'm gonna chill it for several hours so those flavors all come together. And don't forget to taste before you put it away. I'm gonna give it a little taste just to say, oh yeah, mm-hmm, oh man, excellent, really good. I'm gonna cover it and chill it for several hours in the refrigerator now. That pasta, Paul approved? Paul approved. And he is not a tuna fish fan. 
at all. When I told him I was making this, he was like, uh, did you like it? It was delicious. It was great on a hot day. It's such a great economical protein too. We hope this video was helpful. We hope we shared some good frugal finds that you can find at your local Trader Joe's store. And we hope it just was an encouraging video. Try that tuna pasta salad really, really yummy. Thank you for spending this time with us. Please give this video a thumbs up. It helps us so much to get our videos out there to those who may not know we're even on YouTube yet. Subscribe if you haven't. Don't forget that comment. Remember to stay safe. Remember to be well. And above all, we wish you blessings. Until our next video. When we welcome you to our channel, we always say welcome sweet dear friends and this just validates why we do that there's almost a hundred and fifty cards on this table for my aunt's hundredth birthday and we still have two more days to visit the post office box before my aunt's celebration i, I don't even know what to say to you all look at these cards they are all so thoughtful they are all so beautiful the sentiments you wrote inside of them brought tears to my eyes as I was reading them. And what I did is after I opened them, I put the city and the state on the inside of the card so she would know exactly where these well wishes are coming from. I did open each one. It would have been way too much for her. Now she can just sit with them on her lap and enjoy reading them. From the bottom of our hearts, we thank you so much for taking part in this celebration for my aunt's 100th birthday.